There you go. Mpenzi mtazamaji wa Runinga hii ya NBCI na makala haya ya uhalisia natumia kwamba uko mzima buheri wa afya na karibu sana utaweza kubarikiwa. Now, ka mete is my name. Tuandamane sote hadi tamati. Let me tell you. Ni kuna mgeni ambaye anafahamika kama Faith wa Mwandu. Now, Faith wa Mwandu na pia unaweza ukamuita Mama Faraja anatokea katika county hii ya Uasingishu. Sasa hapa ambapo tuko ni Eldoret. Na mahali ambapo tunakuletea makala haya kutoka kuna fahamika kama Sergoit Garden, a very beautiful place. Naona ni kama place watu wanafanyanga weddings and all that. It's just an amazing and amazing place and we thank them of course kwa kuweza kuturuhusu kufanyia makala haya katika eneo hili. Now, <coughs> Faith wa Mwandu ama Mama Faraja kama vile ambavyo nimetanguliza kukueleza ni kwamba she has an amazing testimony. Now, her first pregnancy, mimba yake ya kwanza ilikuwa ectopic. Sawa? Na karibu angekufa, yani alibaki kidogo sana alikuwa apoteze maisha yake. Na one of her tubes ikatolewa, ni mshipa, yes, ukatolewa. Na akaambiwa kwamba hakuna uwezekano wa kuweza kupata mimba. Akaambiwa, well, we don't know but chances zako za kuweza kupata ujauzito are just next to impossible. Mm -hmm. Lakini sasa what she did ni kwamba aliweza kumlilia Mungu. Mungu huo mshipo unaweza ukamea. Hiyo ni imani kiasi gani? Now, aliwashangaza watu na sijui kama mwenyewe alishangaa kwa sababu that mshipa grew back. Eh, ulimea. <laughs> ulimea, kuna scans, ulimea. Okay? And Actually that tube ikakuwa ndiyo healthier kuliko hata hiyo nyingine. Why? Because we serve a mighty God. Yemune? Atomic. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is a beautiful place. Karibuni sana. Sasa wewe uko na ushuhuda wa kipekee. Ati ya kwamba uliambia Mungu that tube can grow. Yes. Na for sure it grew back na madaktari waka confirm. Yes, it grew back. Hebu tuanze kwa kweni huru was going on. Um okay. Uh, it was it's an, an year to uh, like to be one like one year. So uh -huh. we didn't uh, plan to get uh, children for one year. Mm -hmm. Then um after one year we decided now it is time. But uh, yes. Uko wapi sasa hizo? Ah uh, tulikuwa voi. Ah Mombasa. Yeah, I was kule. based in Mombasa. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes and uh, I was actually my job nilikuwa na travels all the county state of Taveta, Lamu and Mombasa. Ah. So um, I was not sure because I was very new and um, I've never like I've never conceived so I didn't know that I was carrying a pregnancy actually. Ah. So uh, it happened I had an assignment in mm -hmm. Mombasa mm -hmm. and uh, my husband actually had told me to go and nijipime kama Eh, uko na ujauzito. Niko na ujauzito. Okay. But now I told him, let me go to uh, to, to Mombasa and then nirudi, mm -hmm. and then nikuje ni nipime. Ni, ni mm -hmm. So I went to Mombasa. Mm -hmm. Um I did my assignment. Yes. Actually I worked the whole day and um that day I we had planned for me to visit our best couple because it was a uh, like ilikuwa time uh, atujatembeleana atuja okay so uh, wa wa yes wa okay. so i was to go and, and and stay with them for like two days because my assignment was uh, for two days mm -hmm. so uh finishing my assignment i just went to my best couple's uh, home we ate some supper that is around nilifika around seven Mhm. Mm Tukakula sapa. Mm -hmm. uh, and then tulilala mapema hiyo siku at least nine tulikuwa tume tume cuz i was feeling nilikuwa na feel to i was nilimwambia mom cuz i call her mom. Yeah. Nikamwambia i'm not feeling well. Let me just have some painkillers and go and uh, ni, ni relax mm -hmm. because i'm feeling 
maybe ni chakula ni dikula mchana yeah. because i was not even expecting that yeah. i'm 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 having the pregnancy mm-hmm. so uh, nikaenda nika, nikakula pain kila and then nikaenda kwa bed mm-hmm. uh, sanne, the pain now grew mm-hmm. ilikuwa so much nikawaamsha because walikuwa wameenda kulala mm-hmm. pia nikawaambia i'm feeling so much pain i really don't know maybe the food that i took eh ndio imefanya hii pain now they kuna kuna kadawa i don't know they korogada something like ah uh, ndaita jifu mm-hmm. wakifikiria ni chakula nilikula mchana because the stomach was really painful yeah then kukunywa that ka concussion it's a concussion eh ah uh, now ni kama ika increase now i started to to throw mm-hmm. and then now could there mhm Uh, so ilikuwa inakuja ina inaenda. like ina, inaenda mm. the pain comes and it was on and off na uko kwa wenyewe yes niko kwa wenyewe yes. but now i'm telling mom i don't i really don't know why i'm really suspecting because nilikula pilau but now the pain is so much because ilikuwa inaenda kabisa for like 30 minutes i can throw and then narudi tena nikikuja kulala ndio inatulia so um it continued like that until 11 now it was so so much i could not hold back mm-hmm. i had to go call mom and dad but now they were asleep i want get here yeah so uh, their son was the the room that i was sleeping alikuwa the next room ndio mm-hmm. alikuwa analala mm-hmm. so nika nikamwambia aka akaamka nikamwambia please unasikia nimewezwa just amusha mom uh, if they can take me to the hospital mm-hmm. Now mom decided to come to my room and sleep with me because ningelala like nikilala like uh, nikilala kama nimelalia mgongo mm. pain ina ina reduce mm-hmm. so i didn't know kumbe ilikuwa damu ndio ina it i was bleeding actually internally nilikuwa na bleed intern it was internal bleeding but now the bleeding was not haikuwa ina itoki itoki yes Uwe. so that was Uwe. the risk part because i didn't know So ilinifanya hivyo saa sita, saa saba. Now they saw hii imekuwa so much. So they went to call a doctor because um ilikuwa chache tulikuwa yeah. ndani ya charge because it's a pasta eh? ah. So they went and call a, a doctor uh-huh. mwenye ako kwa like it's a not a chemist some medical um what can i call it it's not a chemist uh-huh. but in a kato medical care mm-hmm, yes mm-hmm. yeah so wakamuita waka i remember alikuja akaniuliza are you pregnant what and i told him i'm not sure i don't know mm-hmm. so when aliona akasema no this is so much this is beyond him akaambia mama and dad rush her to the hospital yeah And uh, let me take you back eh because this is God eh when we were in void during that time the, the doctors were on strike yeah mm. so if you remember there is time doctors went on strike yeah. for a long time yeah so before i went to mombasa i think god was just preparing me because there is a song my husband sang for me like karibu 30 minutes mara nikamwambia mbona unaniambia hivi mbona mungu wangu watani As in, alikuwa ana repeat it was a short nini but now uh, you know ile yenye anakuimbia ah, mbona una mbona una unaniimbia hii wimbo so i didn't know so this one it happened when the doctors were on strike so me going to mombasa it was like god alikuwa me yani it, it was god's plan yeah. because if i was in voi we could not like atungejua because we didn't know we mm-hmm. were still at jawai miss jawai beba mimba my yeah. husband has not uh, a jawai like seen some so it was something that god really planned for yeah. us yeah. so um uh wakati after gari because now i could not even stand i uh, niki, 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 niki si mama, nina faint because now i think the blood was not aiko inafika kwa yes kwa kichwa kwa bongo yeah yes So I remember I just prayed a prayer and I told God what have I done and then I went off. And then in that during that time you know it was yani my days I don't know God just saved me. 
I remember when Nimelala, I'm seeing people pulling. I don't know. I think because I was sweating. I sweat to outside, as in I was really sweating. And then I just saw people like pulling me. There were three people. Guy. One black. I could not even see their face. So after fainting now, just as I was fanya very fast. Me, I, I remember to me nilifikat was with Ali. They are trying to look for the veins. It liko in the collapse. So I woke up and I told God, I, what are these people doing? And nikam uh, wakasema your veins zime zime collapse. But now I had the nurses saying, mungeka only two hours. This could be another story. As in, I, I woke up in the hospital because I was scared. I was scared, but I was scared. I was scared, I was scared. But I just woke up and just told God, God, let these things be patikan. Then, in your time too, I was scared. The nurses were saying, if two hours, this could be another story. So, I really thank God and uh, after just whispering that prayer, the veins zilipatikana. Hiya. So they did the yoku chukwadam because I, I think they wanted to test the blood uh, blood kumbe because nilikuwa ni damu sana. So the reason as to why I was like I was collapsing is it's because the, the blood was not equal in Africa kwa brain. Damu ilikuwa ime. Nilikuwa ni the internal bleeding. Uh, they did that. They took me to, to the scan room and um, they just found out that and you see this time sorry this time my husband is there yeah. so it was emergency yeah. they had to do everything Anything without just, yeah. without informing him he At was in time. boy and i was in mombasa mm -hmm. yes so um they did that and um they saw blood the had ruptured the fallopian tube and that is why i was experiencing that the pain ah. and now the fallopian tube uh, ruptured but it required internal bleeding mm -hmm. so you see internal bleeding meaning damu ime, ime I, na, I yes, yes so um they really did uh, an emergency it was god's plan because the gaina was supposed to be in void that Thursday. Mm -hmm. but now glory be to god alipigiwa simu hiyo saa 10 because tuli kitambo tu wafanye hii kutafuta nini it was almost 4 mm -hmm. so the gaina was called and i really thank god because he, he came uh, because uh, it was emergency yeah and um, i was booked for uh, an operation mm -hmm. now to uh, to was sufficient yeah, yeah, yes yeah. and uh, i really thank god we uh, i waited and uh, this one I was nilikuja tu kuambiwa baadaye mm -hmm. that uh, waliambia my husband so now I have to sign because you have to sign mm -hmm. yeah? and no one now I thank God because my uh, my brother in law also is in Mombasa mm -hmm. so they came and uh, I think they was the one who authorized because now it was emergency yeah. my husband was, uh, was far yeah? yeah yeah it was far um so they booked me for the the the, 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 the operation and uh, it went through successfully. Mm -hmm. Now, apa kuna shida sasa because damu nilikuwa ni medos kabisa. Almost five, nilikuwa ni medos, I think less than five, eh? Five, per, nilikuwa ni mile. Fines. Yes. Um, and uh, they had to look for the blood now too. Ni, 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 ni pue, wani, wani had. And you see now this time, madektari wako on strike. Mm -hmm. This is another issue. I hospital ya wako na damu. They had to look for another hospital to for me to get because my blood group it's a uh, blood group in ya hepatitis. Uh -huh. So even the people who were there they donated but now they I could not uh, fi find my donor. Uh, by the help of uh, our spiritual parents they call this different hospitals. Eh? Uh, since the doctors were strike mm -hmm. so it in affect all uh, like many hospitals. So I really thank God uh, wali pata finally and uh, niliongeze wa damu mm. and uh, the healing was ilikuwa very fast. Mm -hmm. So um, nilitoka hospitali after six days mm -hmm. and uh, now I went home so that I'd be coming for clinics. Eh? Yeah. 
So there is this day now um tumeenda nyumbani now because I had not uh, asked a lot of questions eh? mm-hmm. so I came the first clinic and um the guy na told me uh, you know one of your tube was removed eh? and uh because it ruptured mm-hmm. so I told him okay so I'm so I can yambia now if you want to plan uh, if you want to like consider you have to be very careful because now you have one tube so if at all anything can happen you might like uneza lose tena because the topic what he told me ineza okate mm-hmm. and now that fear that fear he can ilikuwa so much yeah, yeah. yes so i'm like one tube if i conceive uh, it might be another ectopic because uh, the trauma that i went through it was so it's much yeah. and um i was just nikanyamaza ni, ni tu nikamwambia okay but kuna probabilities ya kupata uh, kupata mimba but aliniambia caution if you get you have to work with a, a gyna or a doctor mm-hmm. if you know that you conceive just make sure even before you like wait for one month now you have to uh, go after three or six days mm-hmm. yes so that thing really ili ni hit sana and the pain that i went through yeah so nikamaliza clinics and then i went back to boy now mm-hmm. now job because this thing happened during my like my assignment i just told god no if this thing happened let me just resign because the trauma was so much so i just resigned mm-hmm. and um i went and just stay at home um uh, during that time I was having this fear that sitaki kubeba mtoto mm. lakini nikiona mtoto natamani tu kumbeba akiwa amekuwa mkubwa mm-hmm. so yani that trauma really made me yani ningefikiria tu yes i want to conceive lakini i i used to tell my husband that one so after it but during this time i used to tell god Now the guy na told me my one of my tube was removed. But God, I normally see lizard. Sometimes when on a lizard amekatwa mkia. Mm-hmm. But after some time unaona that lizard it's like the tail is gone. Mm-hmm. So I used to pray to God and told God, God, if you can create a, another tail for the lizard, what about me? So that used to be my prayer like every now and then i go before god i know i do i have one too mm-hmm. now i cannot i fear because i might uh, now something might happen yeah yeah and um uh i went to okay after after eight months i went to my uh my sister who, who was living in Mumbai, nairobi mm. and uh she took me to one of the uh, fellowship uh, fellowship that katikati mm. katikati yeah. because on a tuesday i remember yeah and um i'm still battling with the spirit of trauma eh? yeah. i'm still having that trauma in, in me yeah and um there's this uh leader in the church just look at me and uh, out of uh word of wisdom just be sad and just saw what i was going through and prayed for me and aliniombea and i felt something uplifted from my heart mm-hmm. like yeni nili feel up pissing in any i've never cold in the experience yes. yeah and he prayed and, and told god the trauma the things that this uh, mama has gone through let it end today as in i tell you ni kama kuna uponyaji nili receive and another energy and then hiyo kufikiria hiyo to more than enda by the way disappear mm-hmm. from that day after those prayers yes wow Uh-huh. So after one year uh now I told my husband I'm, I'm okay we can we can conceive. Yes. Yeah. Conceive. Yeah. Now that time uh, to li, to li move to Eldon now. Mm-hmm, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. After going to Nairobi 8 months so I we stayed to Kakuja uh to Eldon. Eldon. Yeah. Now coming to Eldon now we can conceive because uh nilibarikiwa na kazi na kwambia those prayers really made because I stayed out 
out of a market like workplace for almost nine months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. nine months. Because I was ninge fikiria kazi na fikiria what happened. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The trauma was crazy. Yes, the trauma was so much. Like ninge kumbuka sometimes na yani I cry. Nina nina lia peke yangu. Yeah. Sasa zenye mayazba na metoka mi na jifungia tu I cry and tell God I know you have organs. They are organs you created me and I know in your storeroom kuna organs zenye ziko fresh you formed me and every organ you know it so form my fallopian tube mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and that is how I I used to remind God I used to remind God that God I will not stay with one tube so I really thank God when we came to uh, Eldoret and I knew ni me conceive because I went si ule guy na aliniambia you yes. have to go uh, in a span of nikijua ni me conceive Nina style kwenda within uh, three to six days. Mm -hmm. Nilifanya exactly that. Mm -hmm. And I went to a guy na, na nikaenda nikamwambia, I think ni conceive, but now I don't want to wait after one month in the mm -hmm. I just want us to be mad mm -hmm. so they normally use the blood. Yeah. Because ukitumia that kale kan nyia ita onyesha. Mm -hmm. So they be mad the dam and uh, I they found out that uh, I was expectant and um, in the right place mm -hmm. because that thing in our shambaka yes on wab. the right place yeah. because that was my main thing ni muulize you go on the right place yeah. because of what of whatever the other the experience is. yeah now uh we uh the, the journey was good and um i used to visit uh, like clinics um like after every one month or two months and um Ilifika point I think uh, at my my sixth uh, month eh, I had to confirm and uh, nikamwambia Gaina unaweza nisaidia tupime if uh, my tubes are okay mm -hmm. so akapima uh, akaniambia let's wait baka ile time ni during your, the last the last trimester mm -hmm nikamwambia ni sawa. Mm -hmm. So we didn't atu kufanya anything but during that uh, like time yenye sasa mtoto almost uh, time now yeah. at okay. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to know God has really uh, did something in my life. Mm -hmm. So I told them please muneza nifanya test muniangalie if all my fallopian tubes are in You know to my surprise the after doing the scan the guy na told me oh, because nilikuwa nimempeleka ile report ya ya Mombasa yeah, eh? yeah. yes whatever it happened yeah. i i gave him all my uh, report so akaniambia the fallopian tube that you are uh, saying that because you move is very healthy than this are uh. so hata yeye by the way yeye ni kama it's like the even the, the fallopian tube was not removed because it is healthier but like came, it has yes, ever been tampered with at all at all ah. so god had created another fallopian to form i really i was like okay are you serious because nilimuliza <laughs> so but i knew there is a miracle that god had done in my life Kai. because of what i used to ask god no i cannot stay with one to god create another to form so the doctor thought that it had never been removed. Yes. Aka because I niambia it is very healthy than this one. Na, the one that you are telling like me from, yes. From Mombasa. Yes. The one that you are telling me that it was uh, removed Hi. it is very healthy. So for me I was just telling God thank you God because you created. Amen. You created another fallopian tube for me. And Lord I thank you for you took the fear and the trauma. Yeah. And God blessed us with uh, the handsome son called Faraja. Faraja. Yes. Uh -huh. And um, 2020, 2020, God blessed us with a baby girl called Nema. Nema. Yes. That is grace. The grace of God oh is my God. upon our lives. That's just amazing, you know. I, when you had passed out, Kule, and you saw people pu pulling you. Yes, I saw people actually pulling me. Actually, they were dressed in black. There were three. And even when I visit my mom and dad in Mombasa, I told them I don't want to sleep in that room yeah. <laughs> because the picture comes 
like I still remember these people they were pulling me eh? they were really pulling me I remember nilikuwa nimelala so they were pulling me sikuwa najelewa mom came told me that sikuwa najelewa mm-hmm. yes but you could see that wherever you were yes wherever I was ningewaona ukafanywa operation and the tube is removed yes na report inasema the tube was removed mm. then from there nini 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 eldoret pa you conceive after going through a lot of crazy period of fear and trauma yes only for you after some time to go back to hospital wakati you're just about to you know to to give birth yes na daktari anasema the tube that you are alleging ilitolewa it's, it's more healthy. it's more, more healthy really more healthier than this other one that is how god can do <laughs> Na mwenye ulikuwa ameambiwa sijui ukiko nini ukipata ujauzito you have to be yes, very careful. Uh, yes, I have to be very careful because it might you might experience another ectopic pregnancy. And now today we're talking have about two beautiful children. I give God the Faraja and Neema. Yes. Want to encourage someone who is going through could it be you have lost hope and uh, maybe uterus has been removed or uh, a fallopian tube has been removed and the doctors have said that you cannot conceive with god it is possible amen with god there is the one who created us and he formed us and he know every organ in our bodies oh yes and god can create another one for you sure so i'm encouraging uh, someone outside there that god with god everything is possible and don't give up with god he can create and that one that you will create will be very healthy than maybe you are trusting god your uterus has been removed god can create another uterus for you thank you it is possible it is with god nothing is impossible, impossible. yes wow faith wa mwandu mama faraja ama pia mama neema umesikia vile ambavyo amekueleza akiwa kule mombasa mambo ambayo alimpata Nusura ngepreza na maisha. By the time anafikisha hospitali, it was another story altogether. Na ikafika na mahali ndiye akashughulikiwa lakini in the process one of those fallopian tubes was removed. But today it is there. Na akawa anamkumbusha Mungu ya kwamba Mungu katika gala lako nini hakuna. Kiungo chochote cha mwili wangu ninajua huko lazima kuna spare part. Mungu ni nani? Mungu akamjibu. Anaenda kupima anaambiwa wewe ulikuwa unasema hii tube imetolewa hii kutolewa kwa sababu hata inaonekana ndio iko na afya zaidi hata kuliko hiyo nyingine. We serve a mighty God. Whatever it is that you're going through, maybe umeambiwa uko na kanza sijui nimekukula wapi, mara sijui umeambiwa uko na nini. Let me tell you. Kwa Mungu kuna gala. Na kama kuna gala itisha na ukue na imani and I'm telling you God is going to do something for you. You'll be telling people wanakuangalia ile the you dreaming or you're just telling us your own things wapi kwa sababu hata thibitisho la madaktari liko kuna ripoti ya watu kuna ripoti ya Mungu chaguo ni lako utasikiza ripoti gani ka mete is my name all the way from the home of champions eldoret laala salamu wa salmin kesho ndani ya kipindi cha raushwa kwaheri